Hey guys, Brendan here. We're looking at BNB against the US dollar tether. And I put out an idea the other day on TradingView where what I saw happening was we have a triangle formation here where it's basically consolidating and it's consolidating to like here. And so what I assumed would happen, and it was, it was at the top of this triangle here, is they would bounce down, hit the support, come through here, kind of get stopped up, then hit this resistance, come back down, hit this old resist, hit, hit this old trend line as a support now, and then finally break through and come up to uh, 305. Now I think it's going to stop at 305 and pull back solely because it's happened in the past. It's happened here and it's happened here. Um, I think this will provide some resistance again, because this will probably be a pretty strong push, which I think will send the RSI into overbought territory and then traders will react to that and it'll come back down. Now the question is where will it come back down to? Will it hit uh, 285 ish and then, and then go up from there or will it come all the way back down to hit around the 260 mark and then go up? Um, as we can see back here, it hit, came down to the 260 mark and then started to come back up again over here. It hit the 308 mark, and then it went all the way down to uh, 189. So I think what could happen here is it'll hit here. It'll come down either to here or to here. So what I'm going to do is probably sell about 75% of my holdings here, and then buy back in with buy back in with probably like 50% of my funds here, and the other 50% will be set up here. And if it never comes back down here, then I'll just use those funds for another purpose, uh, not a big deal. And then watch it run up to uh, previous all time highs here. And this will probably serve as a little bit of resistance at first. I don't see it breaking through this too hard, but I do think that this is a pretty bullish. Uh, this is a pretty, I'm pretty bullish on BNB solely because of how many projects are starting to move over to the Binance smart chain. We are seeing a lot of Ethereum based tokens create Binance uh, I don't even know what to call them. They're, they're, they're switching over to Binance or at least having a Binance option because of the gas fees. And there's not an immediate solution to that, uh, especially even with Uniswap saying they're coming out with version three, the help with gas fees, that's not coming out until May, I think as I said, May 5th um, or May 9th, I can't remember, uh, but sometime in May. And so I think Binance is going to pick up a lot of ground, pick up a lot of market share and whether we like it or not, um, it's going to grab more projects. And so this, I'm bullish on it. I see it going to at least 308 in the short term, probably 344 in the next, probably by the end of the month. Uh, but I'm also going to be taking small profits on the way up because uh, I just don't see it just going straight through this one, especially. So that's my take on BNB. I would love to hear your feedback as I am just trying to become a better trader here and understand what I'm doing. So thank you very much and look forward to making my next one.